Hello and welcome to OML102 site, operated by Total Exploration and Production Nigeria Limited. I am the offshore installation manager and responsible for health, safety and security on board. Over the next few minutes, you'll be given a virtual tour of the complex and some important HTC points and local rules will be explained to you. OML102 is ISO 14001 certified. I count on your committed participation to ensure we operate in a safe environment. Please give this presentation your full attention. It is vital to you and our safety whilst on board. Thank you. When you arrive on board, either by helicopter or by sofa, make your way to the heli lounge on level 6. Sign in the arrival register and collect your name tag and electronic wristband from the administrative officer. You will tag in with the electronic wristband. You are required to tag in as you transverse from one platform to another. When you leave the accommodation area, either by boat or the bridge to one of the platforms, make sure that your electronic wristband and T card is with you at all times because you will need it to tag in to your new position. If you are to leave the field either by boat or helicopter, you must return your T card and electronic wristband to the administrative officer. The Offshore Installation Manager OIM is responsible for safety and the environment on site. He is in overall charge of the complex. The Offshore Production Manager is the RSES delegate for the production platforms. They are assisted by the head of HSE on all HSE matters. If you come across any emergency, raise the alarm and call the control room on extension 8700 or 15. Give your name and the details of the emergency. There are three main types of alarms on orphan complex. The fire and gas alarm sounds like this. The abandonment alarm sounds like this. When you hear any of these alarms, stop whatever you're doing. Keep your work area safe if it is safe to do so and make your way to the muster point on the office deck. Remove your T card from the tagging board. Tag in with your electronic handband. Pick up a life jacket, don it and wait for further instruction. If you are a member of the emergency response team, you should go to your assigned master station. If you are in your cabin when the alarm sounds, take your life jacket and go directly to the master station. If there is the need to evacuate the field, the RSES will make the decision and will communicate to all personnel. When asked to evacuate, please proceed to your assigned lifeboat and sit where you are told and strap yourself in. The security alarm sounds like this, followed by a voice call through the public alarm system. Security, security, If you security. hear the security alarm, make your way to the citadel, also known as the safe heaven, located on level three. There are regular drills and exercises. You must respond to these exactly as you would in a real emergency. There are three 70-man capacity lifeboats located at the muster area on level 2, tagged A, B, E, C. You must know the location of your assigned lifeboat. Throughout the off one complex, you will see various forms of firefighting equipment. Fire hydrants and monitors are located at strategic points. In addition, there are standpipes and fire equipment boxes for the use of the fire teams. There are also a number of handheld fire extinguishers. Thank you for paying attention to these instructions. 
your safety remains our priority. If you have any HSC concerns, please discuss them with your supervisor and complete an anomaly form. Please remember that the emergency number is 8700 or 15. We wish you a pleasant and enjoyable stay whilst on the orphan complex. But most importantly, please remember safety first. The safe way is the best way. No job is too important that you cannot take the time to do it safely.